Hello and welcome to today's feature on the latest football kit from one of Nigeria's most traditional and respected clubs, Shooting Stars Football Club of Ibadan, also known as the Olu Yele Warriors. I don't know if I said it correctly. Olu Yole Warriors. Shooting Stars has been a big team in Nigeria from the 70s up to the 80s into the 90s too before there was a bit of lull and now they're back in the Premier League of Nigerian football. But we're not here to talk about their history. We're here to talk about the kits that they're going to use this particular season. So yes, Shooting Stars have traditionally used a blue kit now there's a bit of variations to the blue sometimes it's sky blue sometimes it's navy blue but most of the time it's navy blue but for the 2022-23 season Cohn decided to go with a blue a sky blue and a navy blue combination into a camouflage type pattern that gives it a really really beautiful feeling you know considering the fact that camouflage is known for military action which for me translates to shooting stars being uh warriors in that sense or leo warriors in that sense they're able to go into the battlefield you know to do what they need to do on the field and get that glory back for uh shooting stars and of course Everybody knows what the camouflage means at this moment and is a perfect representation of the club's strong traditional values and unrelenting spirit. Now, the club has been in, you know, stable in Nigerian football for generations and has earned a reputation as one of the most respected and fair teams in the country. So the blue camouflage design on the jersey symbolizes the team's stealth and agility on the field. And it's also reflecting the tenacity and determination of Shooting Stars Football Club of Ibadan. The color blue, obviously, if you're an artist or a creative person, knows that it represents um, strength and stability and also reliability in that sense. And Shooting Stars, even though they're not really doing very well at the moment, but obviously they're a very, very traditional team in this country. And so, of course, on the jersey, the blue one, you've got the cone uh, logo uh, strapped here to the right and then obviously the famous Shooting Stars logo on the right side to symbolize uh, the club's heritage. So, blue for me, uh, the camouflage has really, really been very, very nice and a lot of people really love it. For cone, I'm going to give it at 8 over 10 but you can tell me what you think about the home kit in the comment section and straight up we're going to go in to the away kit the shooting stars away kit is an all white kit with uh embosomed uh light blue uh sleeve on both sides uh with a drip of a uh, dark blue or navy blue as uh, uh, linings on it just like you dropping droplets of maybe like uh, water rain or raindrops on the blue sleeve so if you look at it it's an all white kit flowing through looking really really nice and what cone decided to do was to go with a, a light blue sleeve with droplets of um you know uh light, dark blue strippings on it and makes it look a bit like uh the droppings on it they, some are rectangular some are some irregular shape but it dropped it on the blue surface to make it look really really nice i think i like this too and of course the cone logo and then the shooting stars logo on the side and then the lining on the sleeve is white to give it a really really cool feeling so for me both sleeves the way he did the sleeves looked really really cool and you know you can't go wrong with white in my opinion all the time you cannot go wrong with white and then obviously the blue uh, the light blue on the sleeves and then the little dark uh, blue drippings on the sleeve also makes it look really nice the color uh, it's all white with just a uh, dark patch somewhere here uh, you know looks really nice too and then obviously i forgot to add the blue uh, uh, the blue home strip has a dark blue lining across the color you know to accentuate the other colors on uh, the main body of the jersey so this looks really really nice and then i will give this a 7.5 over 10 but let me know what you think in the comment section and finally for shooting stars is the alternate kit now i really love this one it's something i wear to go to a party or for a picnic or a barbecue or something like that now this one comes it's in the camouflage type format too but it's ash in color and then there's a combination of white and ash to make it look like a camouflage of course it is a camouflage if you look at it really really well and cone really did a lot to this because the home strip like i earlier said it's a camouflage type thing with the dark uh patches and then the light blue patches on it but this time around he decided to go with an ash type patching gray to ash type patching and then obviously with uh you know the whole look of it looking really nice and then what he did again with the color is to give it an all white color for a bit of contrast uh to the body of the jersey and then on the linings of the sleeve is also white you know just a bit of symmetry between them but i mean if you take a closer look at it 
it looks really really nice i've been opportune to have all the three jerseys i've looked at them the design is proper uh you know Korn really went hard on this and again obviously we know uh shooting stars being a very traditional club uh the passion the spirit the fight in them the camouflage kind of gave a bit of testament to that fact and the way he played around with the colors both for the home strip and then the alternate strip looked really really nice again the uh, away kit with the white and the light blue plus dark blue patches on it really really nice overall for the three jerseys i'm gonna give uh cone an 8.5 over 10 probably the highest rating i might just get but again you let me know what you think in the comment section and let me know what team you would want me to look at the kits and analyze among the kit, uh, the cone uh, section of it so let's get it to the next one don't forget to follow me on all my social media handles and get to see this on instagram on tiktok on Facebook and obviously on Twitter.